I came to Berlin in 86. I lived there before in Cologne. That's where I started with the videos. We had a small bar run by a friend of mine. And uh, we did, I started doing videos for the bar because he had monitors over there and I thought it would be fun to have our own stuff running. That's when I started uh, editing videos. Editing is a nice word, but just recording from one tape to the other. My goal when I work in clubs, this work is to uh, illustrate the music of the uh, DJ the best I can for the people that don't want to dance or just want to uh, blur and uh, just uh, to create light show with the videos. I can also uh, project uh, black and white pictures one after the other, black, white, black, white, and create a stroboscope uh, effect. Um, it depends on the equipment and I wish, I believe that this should be the direction that the, the VJ is just a, a kind of a um, most sophisticated way of doing lights. And the light is not sophisticated enough, it's just uh, it's, it's another level. The best is to work with laser discs because then you can really react to the music in the um, rhythm of the music. To the to the beat, just you just work as a dance a dancer or a dance puppet puppeteers. I work with uh, found footage, mainly media footage. I have lots of uh, documentaries, uh, documentary elements in my loop work. And uh, this is, uh, I mean, if you work with documentaries, if you work with newsreels, that's the stuff you get. I mean, a bomb, exploding bomb, has the nicest image and the greatest of sound. And uh, using it in a nightclub, if the uh, spectator doesn't know what, what uh, one sees, then um, it's just another light effect. But if you know a bit about my work or know a bit about these images, then uh, it has this uh, dramatic or uh, pathetic yeah. element. I don't really uh, release products because uh, I think that uh, 
if you would release a tape like this, people would play it to the wrong music, and then uh, people would come to the club and would say, oh, what's this video, another video? It has to have <coughs> some contact with the music. so-called hardcore program using the video sounds mixing it to the uh, to uh, loop sounds uh, that are um, trying to imitate the video sounds and then in a certain point the DJ joins me and uh, I still keep my sound sometimes in the sound of the DJ This is Monitor Automatic at Mayhem F Berlin Club Video, presenting Pronto Food.
Chrome to afford as an interactive installation for a disco. It captures images of clubbers, puts them in a video clip, and makes them dance to the music. What we are doing is uh, real time comes uh, directly out of a computer being mixed um, according to a program which was written by us. It's triggered by the sound, so the, uh, the, uh, the computer analyzes the sound and according to that it uh, plays the uh, video. Once you are captured, you stay in, and everyone else will see you all night long. That's in the end the amazing thing for the people who are gonna watch the video. They see, wow, oh, that's me. Once a person presses the button and gets into the system, the person stays in there and um, will see him or herself again all night long. People are communicating there, or they try to play around with, with their own image. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. You yeah. do have nowadays everywhere these surveillance cameras, and CCTV systems. People get tracked everywhere they go. If you use your credit card, it's being recorded. If you use your mobile phone, uh, you can be tracked down. You're being tracked, being at the WMF, um, <laughs> the Monitor Automatic Night. In real life, you don't get asked, so if you search the internet, um, everybody can trace you down. It's not, you're not a private person anymore.
something that wasn't there before. I think it's the same with sound, and to get it in as many channels as possible. So performative or distribution of the product is the same for us. His name is Lillevin and my name is Mark Häuser. The name of the group is Rechenzentrum. Yes. Yes. It's a possibility. Manipulation is a possibility. And there's so much manip manipulation around. It's interesting to try to manipulate the manipulation. It's also not a new thought, but we like it. And they are very rarely questioned. Individuale, con un piccolo o paraboloide di una sessantina di centimetri di diametro. Individuale, con un piccolo paraboloide. We choose them because they're an interesting sound and maybe because they might surprise people. They might cause some irritation. Um, I'm very interested in these cut-up techniques because of all these layers that are lying behind, over it, a lot of uh, different styles. We're pitched down nearly 100, 200 percent down mm -hmm. and so nobody knows uh, what's the original sample. No. No. <laughs> we played at uh, Arts Frankfurt was yeah. two Fine. months ago. very low because I'm trying to sell some art over there and you're too loud, which was awesome. No, it's on uh, Kitty Yo. Yeah. Yeah. It's better to say in England that you never heard about Kraftwerk and you don't like Auto. <laughs> you don't like it? No, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> what are you, uh, no, I don't like it. Mm, why? Oh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. You don't like it? <laughs> no, I'm not interested in it. Mm, why? Oh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. So time is also important, then time between us. I mean, he decides, okay, now I'm going to go into a sl small piece. Everything we do is improvised. Okay, we have our tapes, we know what we do. But if he decides to go completely techno, or completely fast, or completely slow and play Stravinsky or something, it's also time. which for us was very amusing because it was uh, somebody relating his geography to what kind of music he can understand and which he can't. We're sitting there in the afternoon, 
Mm, and now it starts. It's in performance. <laughs> All these 50, 60 years old perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you. That was the sound check. Sometimes I'm, I'm having a track, give it to him, and sometimes he uh, did the visuals, and I do the music at the same time. We don't actually sit down and come up with a concept of what we're going to make tomorrow. Mm. We just see what we did yesterday and make it come together. I know his aesthetic, he knows mine. I have a, a contrast, you mentioned Godard, we have a contrast of Godard and Eisenstein. You take Eisenstein, everything is montage. Montage doesn't really interest me. It's just saying one thing, there's no possibility, there's no opening to come in and have a different understanding. Eisenstein would have been fantastic for advertising because it's so clear. Then, of course, I'm more interested in Godard, who in one frame has like various levels and there are various things to see. The next time you watch a Godard film, you always see something else. Mm. Every time you watch an Eisenstein film, you see the film, the same film. <laughs> it's like having the same conversation over and over again. It's not that interesting. Consistency was criticized. high aesthetics and after effects that looks just like an ad on TV, then you just think, oh yeah, it's nice, it's professional, <laughs> that's not interesting. Irritating. 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 push people to somehow ask some questions. We should all go out and not buy this or buy something else. I love VHS. All the shows are on VHS. That's fine for me. When they go home and watch TV, what they're actually doing then. Just one instrument, mm. so you have to concentrate on this. Use computers to cut my video. But if I could do it on a <laughs> with with wood, I would do it with wood. I don't yeah. really care that it's digital. I don't yeah. I don't care. I don't use I'm the old software <laughs> because somebody told me it's better than the other one. I don't have very much equipment. His name is Lillevin and my name is Mark Weiser. The name of the group is Rechenzentrum. Yes. Yes. More questions. More questions. More questions.
one, two, one, one, two, two. Mediamar present. Random Alsters 1100. Important settings for optimum performance are ADJ. A device that sends out a MIDI clock like a BPM to MIDI transformer. Sound effect machines that receive the impulse and play back nice patterns on the given tempo. Master and sub audio mixers. Real sound sources, like a voice or an acoustic instrument. A MIDI sequencer program like Steinberg's Expose. Recording your MIDI control messages in a MIDI sequencer gives you complete automatic playback of the visual effects. A video sampling unit like the Akai MPC-2000. A G3 computer with an Super VHS out and a frequency splitter to run Macromedia Director for the random text machine. Strong programming and conceptual abilities plus a poetry database. Me and my colleagues at Simple Text for cut up media theoretical speech appearance. Panasonic WJ, MX50 video mixers and Super VHS players for video show and Master Mix. DV cameras for live imagery. And various presentation hardware. The following artists make the random all-stars a radical and danceable life act. Fabi Carlson, Mans Nimmin, Elsa for Toys, Hans Otto Richter, King Louis, Johan Arbeit, Mark Kelsner, Tristan Tonneson, Monica Ercolani, whatever. Tell me and I will forget, show me and I will remember, involve me and I will understand. We work a lot in a, ne in a network, somehow with other micro companies and also with other free artists, somehow, depending on the concept that we want to realize. But it's, only, it's always like the four of us who do the conceptual part, somehow, and then we get people to, to join in or to do a service like a Dean's Leistung for us. Um, a pixel is a pixel, you know. And we can do it in an art context, for example. I mean, the, I, I think it actually doesn't matter so, so much to us because we see a lot of po potential in all kinds of different work fields. Play. Yeah, I mean, a club is a club. So and, um, but the people still, they do come up to us. Because, because they want what we do, that's yeah. the point, you know. And it's, <coughs> it's more like like performing somewhere, you know, and even if it's a room concept, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, the audience changes, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a club is a club somehow. Oh, a visual artist, you know. I mean, look, you know, I mean, you can have broadcast quality video with an amount which is no comparison to whatever happened before. And um, this gives you a lot of freedom, and people like freedom because you can do whatever they want, and it's you know, things come out which are good, and a pixel is a pixel, you know. Some kind of rebellion against interactivity, and we called it, we found it really cool to be interpassive somehow. And not to make people press buttons all the time and get this disappointing reaction somehow. <laughs> and then we can, those days we considered that the work we did really interactive because the audience was reacting on us and somehow <clears throat> influencing us on the next step we would do in performing. Play. Yeah, I mean, a club is a club somehow. I don't know, I mean, technique never meant, you know, a lot to us, you know, I mean, it's just like, um, we tried all this, you know, to the one which is just okay, you know, we never had to be beta, you know, I mean, what was the stage as no Much more important, you know, you know what, what the idea is. Yeah, I mean, a club is a club. So we wanted to, to create a band that is a pop band and that can play whatever media, not only music, but also images or performance. And it can be 
a band that is focusing on single personalities as stars and at the same time it can be a total like a more like a like a <laughs> room installation where the personalities withdraw somehow behind the back. Then the next the next major point was to <clears throat> to try to bring sound and vision really close together, as close as possible, so that you can't really feel anymore <clears throat> which medium triggers the next somehow. If, yeah, I mean, the club is a club somehow. The club was always a theme park, you know, that's where you <laughs> went. Go yeah, play. Yeah, I mean, the club is a club somehow. And <laughs> What's heaven for you, you know, just don't stop and um, never go down. And so that's, um, I don't know, I mean, time, I think, has always a lot to do with the people who, who are there, you know. Who Sometimes you can fall into a collective time warp. Yeah, like and, um, a pixel is a pixel, you know. And we come up with total different conceptions than showing visuals in the net somehow. Play. Yeah, I mean, a club is a club. And now it's more like sometimes we work like half a year for one project. <coughs> and we work and work and work and it's endless and then the thing is going to be shown for one night or like for three hours and then you stand there like hell Play. yeah i mean the club is a club so the way how people work together in berlin it's very special than to other, any other place i've seen you know i mean it's very less concurrence here and uh, competition and um I mean, there is, you know, but I think it's in a healthy way, you know. But um, then I see much more, you know, people approaching each other, each other, you know. And if they don't, then it's mostly personal reasons, you know. It's not never. It's like, you know, I mean, uh, he was doing something. To me. And if you go, I don't. Um, a pixel is a pixel, you know. And you're like, well, well, no, I mean, Berlin when you style. put together an exhibition with Berlin artists. <laughs> you will have a performance in the end. Because everybody wants to perform, nobody wants to produce products <laughs> that stay there. People are totally focused on enjoying the moment as yeah. intensely as possible somehow. And uh, I think that's great about it, this intensity. Fucking cocksucker. You fucking you 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 fucking show sure, how you stay cocksucker. You fucking cocksucker. You fucking cocksucker. Cock cock do it. Now just let's move. I just do it. Now let's move. I just do it. Now let's move. I just do it. Now let's move. <laughs>
kind of stole a video camera and so they can do some things with this, like uh, with the Super 8 camera. I discovered that you can cut up Super 8 film and put it in a slide frame and uh, that's how I started. I mean, what is art? Yeah, it's like what you produce with your hands or like, um, I mean, it's, it's an obsession can call it art or what other people made out of this. Mm. I work with pictures, I can't work with words and so I mean other people have to decide what it is. Mm. I mean I mm. I like it and that's it. Actually I just want to make like nice stuff mm. and it looks nice. Just like you, you hear a song or so, and yeah. you hear like a part, like some some nice sentence or so, and yeah. you're like, oh wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. I just want to do something with it. Yeah. And sometimes you you are full of hate, and you just want to put some things out, and after this you feel much better. And it's mm -hmm. I use much more still images. I see a picture and I think like, oh, this part of the picture looks nice, let's scan it. And then I sit like, like one week or so just scanning all this stuff. Time is always a theme that comes up, you can't really help it. Sometimes we work together or we try. I steal his things and he's steals for me. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? For steal for me too. Or we give each other things. It's like just we produce something, so he, everybody sits in front of his computer and makes something, and then we look what the other does and say like, oh yeah, this looks nice. And mm, I, I think I have an idea also for today or so. Also. <laughs> Can you give it over to me? And Is so. Is some data exchange, or you give me floppy? Lobby. Lobby. <laughs> Lobby. <laughs> Lobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Internet, okay. But you can I I you exchange data? Also? Yeah. 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 And you give me a file and yeah. then yeah. It's a DJ culture. We're the kind of <laughs> the, the moth going on the back of the tree that is the DJ. You can't live from the club thing. And, and it, the thing is also, like in clubs, boring. there's only some people who appreciate this. And the most of the people doesn't give a shit. And there are some companies who have money, who have the clients, uh, really appreciate your stuff and they can pay your life really good and your work. BMF was for me a really nice club because we had this kind of lounge and you can you have like areas where you can talk. BMF has I always know. been a class act. I know for for um, I know I just can't speak for me, but for me it was like it was like my second living room or so for BMF. You really appreciate this since a long time. It was the first time that you know something like this, mm. and it's like this combination of this stuff and this video stuff for example what still for me means some kind of the future even it's all all technology or something 
Kind of analog feedback. Amiga, PC. Techno event. Technology is cheaper and it's more yeah. easily available. Yeah. X3D looks like toothpaste. Sexy land. Yeah. Hard drive. Mayday. Flash new technologies or new programs. Endless quality forever. do a special show for somebody we try to find an image that is not too strong so you have to watch it all the time and, and you have to find a story or something you can watch it but you can also talk to somebody and then after a minute you watch it again and you see a little change but you don't have the feeling oh now I have to really get into it to get it it's, it's just like environment To work with the room and to, to try also to find the characteristic atmosphere of, of a place and to, to somehow also amplify this, amplify some structures and to, but not to work against the room or to, to, to destroy it or to put something artificial in it. A lot of stuff comes from the net because this is a never ending source of images and themes. And um, something comes really from experiments that you try to mm. connect things together which maybe not are meant to be connected together. It's also nice to use all these filters you have and all these possibilities 
that you can use directly on the set. Like when people do music, they have so many different inputs. And with video, it becomes the same at the moment. The machines get smaller and you can use one filter directly in real time. It's so much easier to work directly from the hard disk and the machines get cheaper and cheaper and now it's possible to work with a power book on the set and that's how we like to do it. I think that the, the, the plan will be to, to work more with digital files because the, the other thing is also it is much too slow. I also like the idea of streaming entertainment. And I believe that the one of our next uh, things will also be to involve some parts of the, the concept of television and bring them into the club and to find smaller channels and smaller communities which, which are interested in some content and also to entertain them and also give them some kind of access. step in the new club is um, to make it more easy and more comfortable for people to join the club as an actor and I hope the music gets a little more chilly and the spaces get more, more like a big lounge. The Berlin Club video was a series of um, six events 
with the VMF and we invited five other groups who worked with video. The main idea was that these people could choose the music they like to hear on this evening and play their visuals with it. And yeah, in the end we could say it was it was a huge success. Everybody liked it and it was a lot of fun to work with these people and yeah, it was a good thing. And we like to go on. You could do this only in Berlin because the, the, the visual scene in Berlin is amazing. I mean, it's, uh, you, did, you don't find any other place in Germany, maybe in Europe, I don't know, where you find so many people really concentrated on this and working with this. Oh, yeah. 